Bournemouth. This town has long been the perfect place to retire. The sea, the sand and the green. And at this bowling club, the slight drizzle doesn't phase them, but the politics does. For the first time, I'm not going to vote because I just feel the country is in such a state. These older voters could decide which way this town swings in the election. Bournemouth's two constituencies have never returned a Labour MP to Parliament. Could a true blue area now be knocked off course? I normally would vote Conservative. It tends to be the generation, the location that we're in, but then people have no confidence in the Tory party delivering another five years. Well, I'm looking forward to a new start with yeah. Labour, hopefully. It's been a disaster for the last 14 years. I won't be voting Tory and I won't be voting Labour. Well, I'd like to think there will be change. They're all promising it. I feel so sorry for the youngsters of today. And I'm quite really glad I was born in the era I was born in. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you what that was. <laughs> this town is just one among many that could be decisive come polling day, shifting sands up and down the country. There are 105 constituencies that make up the sea wall, the coastal towns of England and Wales. Voters are older, more likely to back Brexit and to own their own home and that's made them fertile ground for the Conservatives for nearly two decades. In 2019, the Tories won three quarters of the constituencies here with a vote share lead over Labour of 22 points. Now, under new boundaries, exclusive polling for Channel 4 News shows that has almost completely reversed, with Labour now 20 points ahead in the sea wall. And what better way to get a sense of the town than to get out the deck chairs and chew the fat or lick the ice cream with those by Bournemouth Pier. There's an election on. How are you feeling about it? I didn't know until yesterday. You didn't know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally confused. Confused? Yeah. And why is that? Because they all sound the same. They promise things, no. but they, to me they don't always deliver. Do you know how you're going to vote? Um, if I can ask you. Yeah, I think um, I think conservative still. Yeah. Um, been conservative voter for most of my life. Have you been following the election much? Mm. What do you make of it? <laughs> I put the subtitles on, <laughs> yeah. and I just mute it because it, that's the only way to cope with it. Yet, does Bournemouth's older population give the Conservatives a lifeline, a better chance of firming up their support? <laughs> This community cafe hosts a weekly free lunch for seniors, a warm meal for those who can't afford one, a chance to chat for those who need company. We're all about community, humanity, uh, humanitarian aid in 2024 in Britain. For Andy, who runs this operation, it's a service that shouldn't be needed. The biggest change is everything's got worse. Everything has got worse. People have got poorer. The rich have got richer, the poor's got extremely poor. After years of COVID and the cost of living crisis, how are these cafe regulars feeling? I want to give them a chance. Keir Starmer? Yeah. Because he can't be, well, don't know, but I'm hoping he's not going to be any worse. Some of the things that Rishi Sunak has done has been quite good. I'm going to give him a little bit because he did furlong. I watch the news very carefully year after year, and all I've seen is liars and jokers. You're going to vote for Nigel Farage? Yeah, I am. You know, I've always voted Conservative before, but this time I just, as I say, think we need a good shake-up in the change. Yeah. Would you like that shake? <laughs> Bournemouth is a reflection of our faded seaside towns, where many are looking for regeneration, a consensus on a need for change, but not on who best to deliver it. That report was from Kieran Moodley, and these are the candidates running to be the next MP of Bournemouth East. While the list of candidates standing in the Bournemouth West seat looks like this.